Um, we've done quite a few events in the past as a communications and media group um, and we really felt that we wanted to concentrate on the areas where we could add most benefit, where we've got most knowledge, where we can bring speakers in that, that really can talk about very specific subjects rather than just general health and safety subjects. So hopefully you'll find that really useful today. I please encourage you to ask questions, get involved, speak to the speakers during lunchtime and the tea breaks. And you know, if you've got a particular issue that they've not talked about, ask them. That's what they're here for today. Okay, just thought I'd give you a little bit about um, what our keeper is and, and what services we provide. So you can see the picture of Emily Moore in the top left hand corner. Basically there's about that, just over 1,100 sites in the UK where TV is transmitted from um, and about 1,400 radio sites as well. So we have all different types of structures from this is unique, this type of structure, but mo mostly um, lattice guide structures or towers that look a bit like Blackpool Tower, the Eiffel Tower, that type of structure. Um, I'm going to introduce you to two winches. They're Swedish made winches by a company um, um, called Axafe. They're rope climbing winches um, used for predominantly rescue, um, but also portable winches um, and in the wind, uh, wind energy industry for access. Uh, used a lot out in the Far East and Middle East for long climbs in, in high temperatures to take away the, the stress levels. Um, you can see uh, some of the technical spec on this. Uh, maximum safe working load is 200 kilograms on, these, on this particular electric winch. Um, that can be increased by introducing a 3 to 1 or a 2 to 1 pulley system. Uh, it's got a cut off load of 265 kilograms. That's, it just stops. The principal risks associated with working at height include falls and injuries during climbing or working on ladders. The golden rules are, only climb a ladder if you have been trained to do so. Always wear all relevant personal protection equipment, PPE, such as safety harness, hard hat and safety boots. Ensure that you are familiar with and have access to your company's risk assessment document for all working at height activities. Ensure the base of the ladder is secure, such as using a ladder stopper. Climb ladders using a three-point contact rule. Always have both hands and one foot, or both feet and one hand, on the ladder rungs while climbing. Do not lean out when working from a ladder. Obtain a permit to work in advance of working on rooftops or at transmitting sites. Carry out a visual check of your working area to identify any hazards such as uneven surfaces for sighting the ladder. Report all incidents to your supervisor or health and safety advisor so that remedial action can be implemented. If you'd like to contribute, raise an issue or volunteer to get more involved, please contact Natalie Muller, our Networks Officer at The Grange. www.iosh.co.uk